Hello. <laughs> oh wow. What a lovely time it's been talking about celebrating ourselves and our family. I've learned a lot. I hope you have too. And that you've been celebrating your family members and friends even more, just like I have been doing. And celebrating yourself too. I've been celebrating myself much more than ever before. And if this is the first time you are joining me, you're welcome. I'm Busola and I'm glad we are here. We've talked about celebrating ourselves and our family members for a couple of weeks. But if you haven't been with me, you haven't missed out. You can always connect to all of this by watching all the talks on my channel. They're all there and you can watch them and play a quick catch up so that you'll be with us in the celebration mood. I would have loved to continue on the celebration discussion and indeed there is so much more to say here. We'll be dipping in and out, we'll still be back to celebration. For example, I talked about celebration scissors when we talked about celebrating yourself, you remember? And there are also celebration scissors when we come to celebrating friends and family. That is things that stop you from celebrating your friends and family. That is one topic I would truly love to explore however i would like to take a moment's break from talking about celebration to look at something that has been burning in my mind and i would really love to share it with you i'm sure you give me the permission to take the break because you don't want my mind to keep burning <laughs> thank you and i've been thinking celebration happiness like i said at the beginning of my talks Good things happen to everyone and bad things happen to everyone. When good things happen, be happy, soak it in, allow yourself to enjoy it, celebrate. What about when bad things happen? Because they sure do, don't they? What happens then? Can there still be joy? Can you still be joyful when unhappy things happen? It's been said, happiness happens. Yeah, I like that. Happiness happens when good things happen. But joy, I think joy is more of an attitude. And a definition I saw online, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the link to that in the description. It says that joy endures trials and hardship. And it connects events of life with meaning and purpose. A person pursues happiness but chooses joy. Joy is a choice. You can still choose to be joyful even when things don't go the way you want. When life doesn't offer you what you hope for, you can choose to be joyful. So we're going to spend some time in the next talk or couple of talks looking at how to choose joy when life doesn't give you what you want how to choose joy when bad things happen i'll be sharing with you an interview about choosing joy regardless don't miss it i've thought about how to present the talk and interview whether to break it into seven minute chunks so that it's uh, it's just like what we usually have, short talks, or to let it come to you in one pack. I've asked a few friends and they agree with me that it's best to present it as a pack. So you're going to have a package from your favorite seven minute YouTube talker. Talker? <laughs> okay, whatever. Of about 17 to 19 minutes. Now this is what you can do. You can listen to it all at once or you can listen to it in chunks. I do that at times if I don't have enough time to listen to a talk at one stretch. I mean, listen to it once or twice. But the important thing is be sure you listen to everything. And I am most, I, I'm thinking that at the end of the day, you would also agree with me that it's better that it came in one chunk. Thank you for joining me again today. And please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so. And you know, every time you 
like or share or do any event on my page, you are helping me to be more discoverable, helping other people to be able to see me and to connect to my talks. So you help my message to go far. So thank you very much for doing so. And I will hope to see you again next Friday. Till then, stay fine. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.